Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the News. Now here's the guy who helps little minds understand big news stories, Uncle Jay. Hi, boys and girls. Well, it's August, and the news is so hot. The stories are so important that cable news is even covering some of them. President Obama's appearance on The View was importantly bad, according to the people who hate everything he does. They said that a president pandering to a daytime talk show audience three months before a midterm election is just creepy. A president should only do that five weeks before his own re-election and not talk about politics, just talk about spanking. Well, Uncle Jay's news word for this week is shake up. This, of course, means any kind of sudden change, for better or for worse. For better, the oil in the Gulf is dissolving faster than expected, proving once again that government predictions are always wrong. For worse, thousands of secret documents about the Afghanistan war were leaked, showing how badly the war is going. And apparently that was a secret. And for better or for worse were the vows of the shakeup in the Clinton family. Chelsea got married. Chelsea wore a white dress. Hillary wore a red dress. Nobody wore a blue dress. Snooki got arrested as a promo for the new season of Jersey Shore. And I had to do this, boys and girls, because they couldn't get President Obama to be a guest on their show. Well, our Congress might have a shake-up pretty soon, even before November. Charlie Rangel, who started in Congress around the time the Beatles broke up, might not survive now long enough to see the scheduled comeback of Beavis and Butthead. Mr. Rangel was in charge of stuff like making our tax laws, but apparently he didn't report or pay a lot of his taxes. And as we all know, congressmen are not allowed to do that, only presidential appointees. And American Idol has a very big happening right now. Ellen is leaving. We still don't know who's going to replace Simon. Uh, They fired what's-her-name. And all kinds of people now are rumored to be the next possible judges. It's all very upsetting. But one person is probably pretty happy that all this distraction is keeping them from asking, what's he still doing here? And now it's time to answer one of your news questions. This week it comes from Eddie in Syracuse. Hi, Eddie. Eddie writes, Dear Uncle Jay, that new Chevy Volt looks kind of cool, but it's really expensive. Do you think people will buy such a small car for so much? Thanks, Eddie. Well, it's not what you or I think. It's what the government thinks, because they're in charge of Chevy now. And since we recently learned that the government didn't notice a guy stealing over 10,000 secret documents and that they fired a federal official based on an edited YouTube clip and that they can't account for about $9 billion in cash in Iraq and that they can't keep track of their own homeland security system and that they misidentified several hundred graves at Arlington National Cemetery. I'm sorry, now it's over 6,000 graves. I wonder. Don't forget, you can see more at www.unclejexplains.com. Check back every Monday when Uncle Jay explains the news. And remember, a great kid is great news. (laughs) 